Chances are that your doctor has one time or another mentioned something to do with cholesterol. Cholesterol is a type of fat manufactured in the liver and is found all over in our bodies. Our bodies need cholesterol to maintain healthy cell walls, make hormones, make bile acids which aid in fat digestion, helps in the manufacturing of sex hormones and it promotes a proper brain function. Some of the meals we take also help in the formation of cholesterol. One thing we need to be careful about is with the intake of foods that promote high cholesterol levels in the body. Good cholesterol will be used by the body to transport the bad cholesterol into the liver so that it can be destroyed and taken out of the body. And the bad cholesterol, which is low uh, lipoprotein uh, uh, density, now this one is the one that now builds up in the arteries. And this is now what impedes the uh, blood flow. Foods we need to be wary of include most dairy products and animal meat and even the cooking fats we use to cook our meals. The best will be like olive oil because it is very, it's, 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 it's liquid at room temperature. But there are foods that promote good cholesterol formation in the body such as legumes. This include beans, lentils and chickpeas. Avocado, the fat in avocado is mostly good fat. Research shows that regular consumption of avocado can help decrease your total cholesterol levels. Diets high in omega-3 fats and monosaturated fats can help lower your cholesterol. These fats can be found in avocado oil, peanut oil, sunflower oil and flaxseed oil. Elevated cholesterol levels can be caused by several other factors including heredity, poor diet, obesity, sedentary lifestyle, age and gender. But remember, premenopausal women have lower cholesterol levels than men. Now if you are a woman, not very much to worry. You just take the necessary supplements and maybe eat the right foods. One who has high cholesterol usually displays symptoms of fatigue, high blood pressure and heart problems. At the end of the day, for you to maintain healthy cholesterol levels, remember that a healthy, balanced diet and enough exercise will keep your body going.